phenomenon was a real phenomenon? This was something that was actually happening to these people? I was like paralyzed. I, I What you call like a little move. beam, but it was, he was luminescent, like light. The big bulbous head, like tall, the uh, gray skin. What I saw was a uh, typical gray. Big black eyes. Two and a half, three feet tall. They all were dealing with something that was very unusual from a human perspective. This was something I felt that we needed an answer to because at this point in time there were no answers. My name is Joe Jordan and I'm the State Section Director for the Mutual UFO Network for Bavard County, Florida. I'm also lead field investigator. When we get a call for an investigation, we take all the information we could over the phone, and then we send investigators out, sometimes myself, sometimes other investigators working with me, and we'd follow up to do an investigation report. To these people, they were sincere, they had sincere experiences, and they were looking, a lot of them looking for help, and they felt that being that we were involved as researchers and investigators that we could be some help to them. My name is Joyce Ahrens. Um, I'm a floral designer. Well, I am separated from my husband. We've been separated for about five years. I have two children, a boy and a girl. And I have nine grandchildren. One abduction experience we had, both of us, and both of us remember this too. Um, I was laying in the bed, my husband and I, and I was laying on my right side. And all I could see when I opened my eyes, all I could see was this red light above the window, and I could see my husband's shoulder, but I was like paralyzed. His skin looked like elephant skin. He had the big bulbous head with the big wraparound eyes. As an honest researcher, I realized that I couldn't just count these people out because there's the stuff that they had was so bizarre. Whenever I went on board ship, the alien got, I mean, he got really mad at me because I had had my tubes tied after my daughter was born. It, he said, well, it doesn't make any difference because I can do it. Well. I honestly believe the next morning when I woke up, I was pregnant. It was about three months later, I was abducted, and they took the child. A little while later, they came again. And I was on board ship, and one of the aliens brought a child to me. How did that come from me? How? How does that happen? Most of the research is in the realm that said it wasn't possible to, to stop an experience. Knowing that, I called some of the leading researchers in the country. So I said, guys, I've got a very unusual case here. This man, we'll use the name Bill, and during his experience, <gasps> in fear, he calls out, Jesus, 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 or Jesus, please help me. By calling out, he abruptly stops his abduction experience. These entities can be stopped in the name and authority of Jesus Christ. Once down in Coco, this was after I accepted Jesus Christ, they tried to come. And I kept saying, no, no, you're not doing this. And I took on the empowerment of Jesus Christ, and I stopped that. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, these are spiritual entities. Taking on the empowerment of Jesus Christ 
puts a stop to a lot of things. And he's helped me a great deal. <laughs> Thank you, Lord.